As of this morning at 10 a.m., DRT had released the upcoming Thompson East Coast Line Rationalization. Several bus services will be involved in the first phase of the rationalization. Many people are not satisfied with the rule amendments and withdrawals. Therefore, DME will brief you on the rule amendments. DRT had announced that services 75, 121, 162, and 859 will call up for the rule amendment before the Thompson East Coast Line rationalization. Meanwhile, services 162M and 167 will be drawn for good. Service 75 will start at an East Road and Bukit Mega Interchange via serving Kim Tian Road. Therefore, Service 75 will no longer apply the CBD. Instead, Service 41 will cover Service 75 between Autumn and the CBD and terminate at Shuttleway Terminal. Meanwhile, in the central, Service 162 will no longer serve the city. Instead, the bus will apply Sing Ming and Shun Fu, serving residents to take Service 162 into Thompson East Coast Line. Well, they have Service 410 as a shortcut, and you might wonder, why did the LTA make a long route for Service 162? Unfortunately, Service 167 will discontinue being a public bus route. Therefore, Service 859 will replace the lost set of Service 167 in Sembawang. You can say that Service 859 is part of the Thompson East Coast Line rationalization. The duplication of Service 35 starts from Auto Boulevard to the CBD. While the LTA couldn't cut the entire route, the nearest bus interchange that is possible to amend Service 35 is Bukit Mega. Service 41 is the best candidate to replace the lost sector of Service 35 even though both bus services traverse each other along the sector. Meanwhile, the declining demand for Service 162 during off peak and evening brings closer to the LTA. However, on weekend nights, Service 162M attracts demand from commuters heading to Bishan from the city. And now, Service 167. Unfortunately, DMA is a surprise to see Service 167 being part of the rationalization. If you have watched last year's episode of a bus study over potential Thompson East Coast Line rationalization, Service 167 will be drawn for good. As the LTA looked into the demand for Service 162 and 167 this year, the demand dropped by more than 60%. However, Service 167 brings much more demand than Service 162, and it's a really fast service to Service 980. On weekends, the demand of Service 167 is fully seated as most people from Sabawa and Ishun head into the city. With tourists all bought from Orchard to Malaya Park, Service 167 is more favorable to the North South Line. Speaking of which, then we would like to highlight something. For two years, the amendment and control of bus services affected the alternative mode of transport when the MRT was disrupted. Do you remember the MRT flooding incident in 2017? Services 162 and 167, alongside services 171 and former 700, were the backup bus service to the MRT disruption. Even though there's Thompson East Coast Line, as long as we are living in an overpopulated country, you still need to keep a handful of bus services as an alternative to the disruption. Service 167 is one of the oldest bus services in Singapore since 1971 and Service 160A. Many residents in Sembawang and Ishun will always remember Service 167 as a stop bus service to the city even though there's MRT. While there is no bus service between Upper Thompson and Somerset, the LTA will still push computers into the MRT. Although the ridership of Thompson East Coast Line had increased three times, the LTA insisted on cutting and throwing bus services away as part of cost cutting. Today, a mixed reaction for the public regarding Thompson East Coast Line rationalization. In two years, several bus services in the east will be part of the second phase of the rationalization with service 900 in Woodlands. What are your thoughts on the rationalization? Leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and do leave a like, comment, share and subscribe.